five car of Mackenzie Keane. Keep an eye out there as you see Mackenzie uh, putting the pedal to the metal. A good field of these youth mini stocks this evening. As these under 16 year olds start to get to grips with what it is to be out there on the track. Most of them have uh, spent a lot of time here supporting family members, life in the pits, and now they get to be out there on the track, in the dirt, doing what they want to do best. So just looking at the line up there, we've got Mackenzie Keane in the number five car, just sitting outside the 81 of Callum Russ. Uh, Russ family obviously synonymous with racing here at top Milestone, top of the South Speedway. Then sitting behind again, we've got the 88 car of Connolly Webley. And then 66 car all the way from Blenheim is Charlie Boone sitting in behind. Number 28 then, Layla Jeffcoat, so keep your eye on her. This is going to be a bit of a tussle as they get started. So as soon as that flag goes, they see the green light out there, they will be off. So keep your eyes out for those snare-ups at the start. It's always interesting as they get cracking. Sitting on the outside there, Toby Walker in the 19 car, and then coming back onto the inside is the 51 car of Cooper Whalen Friends. Then outside is the 18 car driven tonight by Luke Higgins and it looks like they're putting on a bit of speed and they are racing now so let's have a look and see who's going to get out there in front first it is the 81 car no number five just sitting 81 has managed to open up a bit of space there so Callum Russ is sitting out in front followed there by the 88 car of Connie Webley uh, number five Mackenzie Keane coming in in third place so it's a little bit of a tussle in there as we sit between the cars and we've got someone in the wall it's the number 38 car sitting on the wall there of Deegan Boker uh, but manages to pull it back and is away again. So still sitting out in front now, the 81 car, quite happy there. Is Callum Russ, plenty of lengths, probably four or five there between the 88 car of Conley Webley. And then coming into third place now is the 66. All the way from Blenheim is Charlie Boone. But the number 18 car has just dived down onto the inside as Luke Higgins looks to open up a spot but couldn't quite get through this time. Let's see what happens as they come down to Big Z's Hill. Diving back down onto the inside, and we've still got the 81 car out in front, followed by the 88. But third place is where it's heating up as the 18 and the 66 cars start to tussle a bit, followed in by 21. The 21 car of Jack Burson sitting back there in fourth place. And now the 19 car, driven by Toby Walker, has just managed to get around the outside there. But it's still the 81 car out in front. Callum Russ is opening up that lead. Conley Webley doing all that he can to try and pull it in around corners one and two, but not quite fast enough yet. Going back to third place is that 18 car still sitting there, the 18 car of Luke Higgins. So those one, two and three haven't changed, but we've still got a bit of action now as the number 19 car dives down onto the inside, but a little bit wide and loses it there as the 19 car of Toby Walker. Back in, back out again. Charlie Boone still trying to do what he can, and we've got the 19 car of... Toby Walker up into the wall and that is going to go to the yellow as they try and sort themselves out here back into the order that they were in as that yellow light came on. So there will be a bit of a pause there as that car of Toby Walker is pulled back off the wall. But nothing much has changed up at the front. So we've still got that 81 car of Callum Russ in the lead. And he has been opening up a commanding lead there. That is going to be squashed back up again now as they go back into single file and get themselves organised. But we will be able to see what it looks like with those 1, 2 and 3 cars. So the tussle around 4th and 5th has been interesting to watch as they've made their way around. These youngsters, remember, they're up to 16 years old out there on the dirt doing what they love. They've spent weekends here, many hours of weekends spent supporting, cheering on family, and now they're out there doing their racing. And we can see now that lineup. So keep an eye on those fourth and fifth, third places as those tussles continue.
Well, the 19 car there of Toby Walker is now back on the infield. So we should be racing again very soon. And we look at that lineup now of those cars again. Just going back through the first four or five, let's have a look. We've got Callum Russ in the 81 car, followed by Conley Webley. That hasn't changed this race. And then Luke Higgins sitting in third. Then we go back to the 21 car of Jack Burson. 66, Charlie Boone visiting from Blenheim, then to the 28 car. That 28 car of Leela Jeffcoat doing well to fend off the others. Deegan Broker just sitting in behind in the 38 car. Then it's Mackenzie Keane. Then we come back to the 51 car of Cooper Whalen Friends. And sitting there, the 41, and they are racing again. So back to that 41 car of Andre Musgrove. Sitting a bit further back, but look at it, it is starting to heat up again now in those first, second and third places. A good field out there this evening. And now it's a little bit tighter, there's going to be a bit more of a chance for those second and third place cars to try and knock the number 81 car off the place, of first place on the podium, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, those lead cars now having to take a bit of a wide berth there, the number 18 car of Luke Higgins. As you saw, they're coming through the pack now. So it's starting to get a little bit messy as they duck and dive and weave their ways through, but it's not slowing down. That number 81 car of Callum Russ. Callum has got a commanding lead, and it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon, but it does get more complex as they start to weave their way through those other cars. Sitting in fourth place, that eight car of Cody Hogarth. Oh, and we've got that eight car there of Cody Hogarth just spun out there, trying to dive down now onto the infield, but looking a little bit messy. They still have a green, although we have got a car that's stopped up, and they've gone now to the yellow flag while we get that car back off the track and into the infield to make it safe for everybody else. Well, they're just reordering themselves again. And there's been very little change in this field around those top four or five cars. The fight's been a little bit further back. And unfortunately, a couple of casualties there in the uh, infield this evening. As the youth mini stocks continue to be a nursery place, a breeding ground for the talent that is coming through the milestone top of the South Speedway. And there's the green flag, they are racing again. And let's see another chance now for those contenders in second, third, fourth places to put a little bit more space between themselves and pull it forward. So we've just seen a nice change there of Luke Higgins managing to move up into second place from third, just getting a little bit of a hit over Connolly Webley. 
But the number 21 car of Jack Burson is still looking for one of those top three placing positions. You can see Jack working hard out there down on side the infield. And look at that, he's managed to come up. He's made his move there, and so we've got a bit of a change. We've got Luke Higgins now sitting in first, followed by second. Jack Burson, he's just made his move, but look at that, the number 88 car's just dive deck bound inside. Conley Webley's moved back up into second, so it's all go now in those first three places for the youth mini stocks. And what a great field of cars to have out there this evening. Well, up next will be stock cars. The very big brothers of these youth mini stocks. A great race there to see these youngsters out there on the track this evening, continuing to hone their skills to give a great future for the milestone top of the South Speedway and speedways all over New Zealand. Give a big round of applause for the number 18 car of Jack Higgins. Yep. yep. And I've managed to uh, conjure one of our sprint car drivers up. He's one, two from two. Stephen Taylor, mate, it's good to have you back in the South Island. And uh, she had a pretty good run so far tonight. So far, so good. Uh thankful to everyone that puts the effort in and the tracks pulling through really well after the weather so the club's really turned on a great night so just having a wee bit of a thing to see what results for this race you might be up for the uh prize for this for the uh final where you've got a thousand dollars to go back a couple of rows that might be a beneficial night if you manage to get that uh, top points yeah, I don't know. I might have to think about it. We'll just see see how the night rolls. <laughs> well, we know what happened last time we were up here for the Sunshine Classic. And uh, up here for the Sunshine Classic, you got to lap uh, 24 and uh, she all went undone by a back marker. I think he was a little bit apologetic on but he didn't mean to do it. But uh, certainly ruined your night. But, mate, you come back with vengeance. And, uh, mate, 25 laps again tonight, you'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, it's sport, and when you go out there, it's, I almost believe it's kind of predetermined. Some nights are your nights, some nights aren't. You can be good, and really, you, you can't count anything, so we just got to take it as it comes. Well, you've been racing up in the North Island pretty much most of the season. It's been a bit choppy and changy with the uh, weather forecast, and bits and pieces, all the North Islanders were up there to, to be at Bay Park tonight, and uh, you've opted to be down here, and it's probably the wise choice with it being rained off, so you get another crack at the North Island title. Yeah, out this, this car is an Elson-based car and my team's in behind it with a collision centre and obviously Landon Dawson and Steve Sullivan all live here. So to put a meeting like the North Islands ahead of something that they're heavily evolved and wouldn't be the right thing to do. And uh, I suppose they did the right thing and then they've been rained out. So I hope I can have a crack at that. Mate, uh, last year just got pipped on the War of the Wings series. You had a brilliant uh, tour down here in the South Island. Looking forward to another one this year. Yeah, yep, just give it our best crack again and had some unfortunate stuff with the tyre coming undone, but um, yeah, we just take it as it comes and try our best every night. Well, there might be some future sprint car drivers out here, young uh, Campbell McManaway, who you chased down for a majority of the race before he managed to pass him, started off this week. Pretty impressed the way he drove in that last heat. Cambo did a great job. He's a um, good kid, he's learned, he's been around good people and He's got some ability, so as he sticks it out, he'll only be better and harder to beat. So I was watching him, I thought, man, he's doing a great job. And that yellow was just opportune for me and just had to race him hard. Mate, you've got some uh, good South Islanders here tonight, the likes of Connor Rangi, uh, Jamie Duff, and that uh, Daniel Anderson here. Of course, we've got this young American 16-year-old that's out there as well. So plenty of competition. It's not a huge field, but, mate, the quality's there and you're enjoying the racing. Yeah, these guys, the, the, the best of the South Island guys, don't leave anything on the table. They're as good as the best North Island guys, so uh, you're definitely not stepping down in competition level. And Joel Myers Jr., he's an up-and-coming guy in the States. He's got good backing and he, he really enjoys it. He's fully passionate and lives it. And that, it's a really healthy, you know, level at the moment down here, so... So, Evan, so what's your plans over the uh, Christmas period to back it down here for the War of the Rings series? Will we see you back at Greymouth again? Yep, yep, we're going to commit to all the series rounds and 
take it as it comes and then basically do what I can in the North Island here and there. I think my schedule in the South Island's about 14 nights and the schedule in the North Island sits at about seven to end out the year. We've only done one up there to start the season off. Yeah, well, the weather hasn't played ball for a lot of the tracks around the uh, countryside, and, of course, it's going to Constantina towards the back part of here, so you might be the odd double up for meetings. But, mate, it's been a good start, and uh, all the best for the, the feature race. We might get to chat with you down on the infield very shortly. You've got some decisions to make downstairs if you manage to be top one points. Uh, we've got one more sprint car race to go for that, and... Uh, See what happens, but mate, it's been good to have you back here in Nelson. It's been good to see you back out on the track, and I've been watching your results around the country. So as you said, it's been a bit of a sort of hard time, but mate, I'm looking forward to catching up with you around the uh, South Island again for the season. And uh, very best of luck for the War of the Wings. See if you can get that uh, off young Connor this year. Uh, no, it's right down to the nail last season, and I'm looking forward to some more good battles. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, thank you to everyone that's turned up tonight. The crowd, obviously, the club, the sponsors that help put this meeting together. And uh, yeah, as you say, we just see how the season goes, but we'll always try and put our best foot forward. Well, mate, if we don't see you on the uh, in the sprint car, we might see you around somewhere. We always like to uh, follow a few of these super stock boys and a few of our mates around the countryside as well. So hopefully we'll see you around the track. But uh, best of luck. We'll see what happens. We might be able to talk to you very soon. We'll see what happens with these points and uh, whether you've got to make some tough decisions. Thanks, mate. Thank you. <laughs> see you, Stephen. Catch you, mate. Now cheers there for Stephen Taylor to take his time out to uh, come and talk to us here at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway. Awesome to see. We didn't really want to interrupt the interview, but at the moment, Callum Russ, unfortunately, has been put to the back after three laps for causing that incident there with Toby Walker as we go back and racing. So your race leader at this stage, and he has led it for the entire race, is the 18 car of Luke Higgins. In second place is the 19 of Toby Walker from the 38 of Broker, then the 21 of Burson, and then the 88 of Conley Webley. That's your top five at the moment. It's a gaggle of four of them, just two or three carlings in between them at the moment. Luke Higgins has got off to a nice wee two or three carling lead over them at this stage. Deegan Broker and the 38 cars in second place from the 21 of Burson, and then the 19 of Toby Walker, then the 88 of Conley Webley. That's your top five at this stage. As they start to come up on a few of our newer drivers, obviously riding the sashes. They're on the mentor program. That's when they're on their first few race meetings on the youth mini stock. So they've got to have a high-vis vest out the back just to let them know that they are a bit inexperienced. So the experienced guys will go around the outside of them. Luke Higgins trying to get past the 27 car of Elizabeth Brunt there. On the exit of corner number two, she's slowing down quite a bit there as Higgins is trying to w make his way through. Obviously, it's the faster car's fault if there is um, any incidents with the lap marker. So these guys and girls that are going faster need to watch their pace as Callum Russ is already up there into third position. He, Gets down the inside there of the 38 car of Broker using a wee bit of bumper there as well. The side rail on the 21 of Jack Burson there down the back straight. And oh, we got one over! And it is the 44 car of Sky Yates. One of our car drivers on the mentor program as well. Oh, no. <laughs> It's the youth, it's the quarter midgets, it's the youth mini stocks. It's not supposed to happen in these grades. I thought the youth were last meeting that there was their highlight meeting. It's, it's, it's the stock cars that are supposed to roll, it, roll each other over. They're the only ones oh, that yeah, ain't doing it. I've a couple of those last weekend, but <laughs> yeah, certainly young ones certainly not messing about. They must be all getting ready for Santa. Of course, all the high school kids have finished uh, school now. And I think the intermediate ones in the, or the primary school is probably at the end of this week, I think it is. Last yeah, full week of yeah, work last for a lot week, of us. Yeah. So we'll see what they do with this one. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, Zane here with a few race results for a couple of races happened early on in the program. Well, let's go back to race number nine, which was that last street stock, and it was a doozy. We saw Ryan Musgrove come in first, followed by the number 33 car, which was Don Garthley, all the way up from Christchurch. Then the 77 N car of Jordan Gillespie. Those were the top three, and then we saw the number 35 car of Jonathan Garthley coming in in fourth place. Then was the uh, fifth place was the 84 car, which was Ryan Morrison, followed by number 11, Richard Bateman. 97 brought up the seventh place, which was that visiting car from Christchurch, Aaron Tranter. 61 came in eighth. That was KC Rose, a hard-fought battle that time. Number 77, uh, which was the car, Corey Schumacher, all the way from Christchurch as well, coming up ninth place. And then in tenth was the 39 car of Harry Moffat Schwass. We saw four not finish, unfortunately, but hopefully they'll be back out for that next heat. <laughs> Thinking too back to the TQ Midgets that we saw in race number 11. That was their second heat for the night. And we had Ben Morgan coming, uh, taking the chequered flag, the 84 car, uh, 84C. And then we saw in second place, Dylan Forsey, 57. Then Jonty Austin in third place, Alicia Hill, number six, coming in fourth. Dylan Bensman in the 23 car, bring up fifth place, followed by Morgan Frost, Mark Morris, Jess Morris in eighth, Mark Bazette, number nine, Joe Keane coming in tenth. Kynan Bazette in the 11th place in the 24 car, then in the 5 car Mike McWinney and rounding it out number 13, the 4 car of Hayden Edge, that was the TQ Midgets race 11, their second heat for tonight. Yeah, just a confirmation of those race results here by Zane, got an awesome job here helping us out with the announcing tonight and uh, he will be a regular one you hear as I make my way up north to Hamilton after January so we'll just wait to see what the result is for this one. If we're going to get the 44 of Sky Yates into the pit area, I don't think we are. So hopefully it's just a tipsy rollover. Not one of the big, big heifers that they sometimes do with the stock cars. Obviously a non-contact grade. They do sometimes use the side rails, the mini stocks, probably more often than they should. But uh, they are there. For them to use. It's out Luke Higgins there, your race leader at the moment from the 21 of Jack Burson, the 38 of Deegan Broker, then the 81 of Callum Russ. Callum Russ had made his way up to second place and then that yellow light happened now. He's dropped all the way down to fourth. But it only took him a couple laps to regain the rest of the front of the field so shouldn't be too Bear there for the 81 car of Callum Russ, as it looks like the 88 car of Webley. Trying out some higher lines. It looks like the 8 car as well of Cody Hogarth. They're just trying to push him onto the infield a bit more. So the lights are out. We're going to go racing this time by whether the drivers realise it or not. I'm sure they will when they start to... Blunt sharp down the back straight as Luke Higgins is your race leader. We are eight laps gone out of ten, so we've only got a couple more laps to go as we are racing. And the 81 car, as per usual, gets a brilliant start getting around the outside of Deegan Broker and now turning his attention to the 21 of Jack Burson. Burson will try and hold that inside line as Russ tries to come down on him. So we've got an argy bargy there between the 81 of Russ and the 21 of Burson. Burson looks like he just let that one through there of the 81 of Russ as his white flag. One more lap to go as they start to make their way down the back straight. Higgins has just got to hold on for a couple more corners over the 81 car of Callum Russ. And he'll pick up the race win the 18 car of Luke Higgins from the 81 car of Callum Russ. Then it'll be the 21 of Jack Burson from the 38 of Deegan Broker and running at your top five will be the 88 car of Conley Webley. Then we'll go back through the field, the 19 of Toby Walker, the 41 of Andre Musgrove, the 28 of Leela Jeffcoat, the 66 of Charlie Boone, and then running out your top 10, the five car of Mackenzie King. But Luke Higgins, all he had to do was hold on to that race win, and he did so the hard charging. Russo Jr. of Callum Russ, there or thereabouts, as per usual as well as the 21 car 
Of Jack Burson finishing up there in third position, but a good race win there. The 18 car of Luke Higgins, as it looks like, will put a bit of moisture down onto the track as we got the sprint cars uh, coming up for their heat number three of the Collision Centre Sunshine Classic here at Milestone Homes, top of the South Speedway. We'll play a bit of the radio as we get these sprint car boys out onto the track. One car of Jack Burson on the outside of him will be the 88 car of Conley Webley. Um, you realise we've all got a meeting tomorrow. And then it'll be Broker and then Callum Russ there on the fourth row back. Then it'll be Cooper Whalen Franz, Mackenzie Keane. And then it'll be Toby Walker and then the 55 car of Kayla Musgrove. Then the 46 car of Jaden Vibbett. The 211 of Amy Burson, the 27 of Elizabeth Brunt, the 89 car of Bella Stratford, the 68 car of Morgan Robinson, and the 8 car of Cody Hogarth. So good to see a good field here of our youth mini stocks for the front row. So the 41 car of Raiden Hearn on the inside, the 28 car of Leela Jeffcoat on the outside of him as they get ready for 10 laps of best pairs for our youth mini stocks. There's a reason they don't know and we haven't told you. It's because we don't want them teaming up with each other and stuff like that with contact happening, obviously a non-contact class. So it's secret best pairs for tonight. So lights are out, ready to go. So Hearn and Jeff Coat, the front row, as we are racing. And they're about four wide as they make their way into one and two shop corner. Looks like Leela Jeff Coat got sped out a wee bit there, but she's keeping up pace with the front six or seven drivers at the moment. As Burson, oh, we're going to contact there with Hearn. He slowed the car down, so it actually made Hearn not spin. So good. Beautiful driving there by the 21 of Jack Burson. Realised his mistake of what had happened. And oh no, that wasn't a mistake. There's three of them in that one. And it's the 21 car of Jack Burson. He's not one of them involved. He was in the pile-up. He got out of it somehow. The 88 car of Conley Webley. And as well the 18 car of the Luke Higgins. But the youth mini stocks, they better watch out. Because they're starting to rub a few bumpers at the moment. Uh, looks like there might be a bit of ch um, Luke Higgins' car. Looks a slightly second hand out there after winning that first heat to seven. I've stuck back up, mate. I've been running around, losing a little bit of weight down here, just sorting out the sprint cars. We're going to talk to Stephen Taylor, who's highest on points when he comes out. He's going to make a decision whether he's on row one, two, three, four, five, or six. Um, $1,000 each, Rory steps back, so he's got some tough decisions to make. Of course, it is a cons collision centre's his sponsor's money that's putting it up, so uh, he's going to be racing for his boss. The boss's son's out there, he says, mate, uh, that's my Christmas present you're mucking around with, so, you know, if he even takes the eight grand, well, then the boss is short five and the boy's not going to get a very big stock in this <laughs> Christmas time. Like a lump of coal. Uh, we, do we do have the uh, grip draw here. We can tell that Stephen Taylor's off 
front. Um, if he chooses to go off the front, he's going to go off the outside. 46 C Joel Myers, young American, 16-year-old American, is off the same row. Then we go back to 95 C Caleb Vaughan, the 44 T of Daniel Anderson. In the third row, it's the 56 N of Campbell McManaway, the 57 I of Jack Brown. The 88 I of Jacob McIntyre is off row four. Joining him will be the 57 of Connor Rangi. Row five has the 7 C of Oscar Harcourt and the 79 M of Max Guilford. Row number six is going to be a blank on the inside. Dave Kerr has pulled the plug tonight. He's got some issues. The 19 C of Jamie Duff will be on that row by himself and off the back will be the 6 N of Alicia Hill and the 75 N of Sam Callahan, who's just changed another mag out of it and he hopes to have that car running. So don't count off the back markers yet. It is 25 laps. It should be a huge deal as we get sorted and certainly the youth certainly mixing it up tonight obviously some of them already off school and uh, must have been eating a few lollies or something tonight the old uh, rollovers uh, we won't see Monika Rawson she only did the two races she's a bit sore so uh, she'll hopefully recover and I think Taylor Martin was another one that wasn't going to race the youth one as well apart from that folks we'll be wandering around we'll get ready for this final heat if we get ready for our Stock cars, our TQs, Alicia doing double duty. She's got 15 laps in the TQs and then another 25 in the sprint car. So the workout at the F45 is certainly going to pay big dividends tonight. Uh, we do apologise for some of those in turn two. They still can't hear us at the moment around in turn two, but uh, some of the speaker systems are not working tonight, so I've had a few issues, but I think some of the ones in three and four have been fixed since last time. So... A few technical issues tonight, Gabe, as you've only got a couple more meetings to go before we say see you later, alligator. Yeah, yeah it's probably a good thing. I've been calling I've been calling one of them Blake here, and it's Andre Musgrove racing the 41 oh, yeah, car as well. Yeah, Andre's <laughs> been racing it for a wee while. Just had, just had Papa Heard come at Justin come up and talk to me, and oh, no, no. bang my what, microphone on my head. Yeah, we'll see nothing. Blake in the super stock at some stage of the season. <laughs> of course, Raiden oh. didn't go down to uh, Greymouth today with the super stock. Super stock's an invitation grade at Greymouth. Brett Nichols down here tonight. Uh, so he'll be heading on his way back home now as we just look forward. Of course, there will be prize given in the club rooms after the race meeting. So we've got obviously got some uh, best pairs, some triples, and, of course, the sprint cars for prize giving. So you're most welcome to come in there. Of course, you must sign in at the bar if you want some beverages. Apart from that, mate, we're getting down to the nail biters before Christmas, before the other jolly red fellow makes his way down the chimneys or whatever they do now, the air con or whatever Santa seems to slide down these days. He might even take an Uber, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Price of fuel. So it looks like they've got this uh, Luke Higgins sort of that. He's going to make his way into the uh, first aid area, looking at it, he might be a little bit shaken up. I'm sure he'll bounce back much like his dad and his mum. He did get quite a bit of height from that contact there with the 88 car of Conley Webley, so yeah. <laughs> might be a wee bit, a bit of a sore bottom there. Yep, they might be able to join uh, Dylan Clark in that field. They might be able to share um, air, air cushions. Air cushions, yep. So hopefully, see, hopefully Luke yep. is all okay in that car as well. Yep, St. John's just in there assisting him. We do, of course, we do do a big shout-out to St. John's. We know they've been under huge pressure over the last couple of years, and we do appreciate them being here tonight. Hopefully we just get them to enjoy the uh, old hot dog and watch a bit of racing and a coffee or two and don't have to do too much, but they have been a little bit busy tonight. And, of course, our next race meeting, 29th of December, and it is the Derby. Looking forward to that one. Should be a full house here tonight uh, with all the... Uh, Visitors in over the Christmas period, looking forward to being back to normality for this Christmas for a lot of us. I've got a couple of days down in Christchurch, so I'll sneak back home, try to chase some of that snapper in the harbour. Haven't been able to get out yet, but hopefully we'll be able to get some of that. Got the Super Saloons coming here in early January. I've got Wall of the Wings down in Greymouth, if you want to have a wee look at that. Down in Greymouth, a couple of days down there for uh, War of the Wings. Then four days later, we've got the uh, Super Saloons down there as well. Looking forward to that. We start our February with our, a few of our South Island titles coming up. And, of course, for those that have followed our Facebook pages, their website, uh, obviously the Stampede, which is looking pretty good. We've got some big names coming here for the Stampede. Stock cars as well. We're busy ringing a few North Islanders to come down for that two-week period to do the... Uh, Wolfie Glen, Battle of the Stocks, and then to head up to Nelson as well. So it's here. The whole family of the Ashtons will be here. I'm uh, looking forward to that. I think they've got about four super stocks in there, a couple of mini stocks as well. 
I'm looking forward to having that here. Twice, uh, Cohen Wright, who is pretty much cleaned up best part of the North Island. One in Napier the other day, one in Whanganui. Uh, cleaned up in Rotorua. He's coming down with his uh, 88 mini stock. And hopefully we're going to have a North Island versus South Island mini stock race. Professor might be sponsoring that one, getting that one organised. That'll be a big doozy. Looking forward to that one. So hopefully we have, of course, mini stock mania that night as well. So that and the stock cars that we uh, got cancelled out last time is happening as well. So that should be a huge meeting. And doing the pairings uh, with the super stock drivers this year? Uh, no, we might do the North versus South Island battle instead. Oh, yeah. We'll have a bit of a think about that one. Yep. Right over, back underway. As we are racing again. And we go green lights. So we've gone for a full race restart for this one. And it's the 41 car of Andre Musgrove who leads this one from Jack Burson in the 21 car as they start to make their way down the back straight in the third place is Callum Russ and the 81 machine Deegan Broker in the 38 trying to go around the outside of the 66 car of Charlie Boone but can't quite get the job done this time by but will push as they make their way down the back straight looks like Toby Walker's in there as well trying to create a little bit of space between him and the 38 car of Deegan Broker, but Charlie Boone's keeping good pace at the moment with these two other Nelson cars of Toby Walker and the 38 of Deegan Broker. So Charlie Boone's keeping good inside lines at the moment. He's just got to hold off. He might have opened the door, though, for the 19 car of Toby Walker to sneak by and just let that right-hand front in, and he has done, and that means Deegan Broker will probably follow suit down the inside as well. So there's a wee bit of cat and mouse here for our youth mini stocks as they start to try and get through some of the back markers there. Looks like a bit of contact there between Walker and Broker, just hitting, both hitting each other. But nothing coming off that. That is Callum Russ as your race leader at the moment from the 21 car of Jack Burson. We have four laps gone out 10 and oh, we almost got another one. Oh, he was on two wheels for a wee bit there, the eight car of Cody Hogarth. But a wee bit of an incident there between the 21 of Burson, the 68 of Robinson, and the 8 car of Cody Hogarth. Yep, and we'll have a change of underwear if the car doesn't break when he gets back into the pits. Certainly doing a bit of a pirouette down there, looking, it might have been slightly blinded by the lights as well, but uh, obviously, sprint cars don't mind with those nine big boy tyres going around some of these fronts for these mill cars with their little tyres just digging a little bit. Yeah, she's got double duty coming up very soon. She's got the TQ midget race, feature race, and then straight into the sprint car. So should be a tired body after this one. <laughs> couple of legends here all the way from Tiana, Daniel Anderson and young John Myers, a 16 year old all the way from America mate, congratulations, welcome to New Zealand for a start, I see you got a couple of laps in at Ruapuna last week to dial a car in, slightly different track from uh, Ruapuna, a lot of hard work out there for you? Yeah, gladly we got uh, some laps in last weekend, just kind of figure some things out um, with the car and everything else and be a lot better uh, coming into tonight and We've been pretty solid tonight. Uh, we started on the front rows to just see what we can do in 25 laps. Mate, are you enjoying it out there? Are you enjoying the, 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 the track? Yeah, definitely a lot different from uh, at home, but uh, definitely uh, different and I love it. 
Mate, she'll be a good party afterwards. They've got some good sprint car drivers up here tonight. Pretty lucky because the rest of the country, they've actually uh, shut down. I'll, got, I'll see you over in Greymouth in a couple of weeks. I was actually talking to Daniel a bit earlier about what you're up to. You're about to fly into the country, and I've got a bit of a history on Daniel, and uh, we'll see you for the next three months around the South Island. You'll be looking forward to that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's been a great time so far, and got a long uh, time still here, so make the best out of it. Mate, you, they, they got you doing the bungee jumps and the uh, jet boating yet? Uh, no, no bungee jumps. We talked about it on the way home last weekend and uh, still waiting on the jet boat thing, but we definitely went jet skiing on the lake the other week. Well, a lot of these guys that are racing these cars out here at the moment are only a year younger than you guys. This is what we call our youth mini stocks. So of these guys step up, like Sir Connor Rangi, he won the New Zealand Championship in the youth mini stocks. Moved up to the sprint cars, going very well, very competitive driver. You raced him last weekend, and of course he's here tonight, fat tie in that first heat, but he'll be one you want to watch in this next 25 laps. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know if uh, they're close to Daniel's age just yet, but... Uh, um, yeah, definitely. Connor's been pretty good and uh, had a good battle last weekend off him. Well, mate, has, has Daniel let you on the stove yet at, down at the restaurant yet? I'm not sure. Are you allowed to cook or are you just allowed to wash the bottles down there? Oh, no, I ain't no cook, uh, but they've uh, fed me awesome so far. Mate, she's some good tucker down there, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Mate, you've got uh, legend. Daniel, mate, it's good to have you up here. I know you went to Royal Puna last weekend to get the young fella some seat time. You made it to Royal Puna the week before and got rained out. We've had one night of two, but you've got a pretty good night in so far. You'll be pretty happy with the way things are going? Yep, very happy the way things are going. And there was a good shake down at Royal Puna last week. But the track today um, is absolutely awesome. So well hooked up, and we're going to have some fun out there in the feature. Mate, she, she's dialed in quite nice. These little tyres don't like a couple of those little reluts, but you've got those nice big hoosiers and American race car tyres. You'll be able to just buff over the top of those. You can put the car pretty much where you want on the track at the moment. Yeah, no, it's um, like it is. Uh, uh, hopefully we can get a couple of good uh, lanes in there and we can definitely get some good passing and hopefully um, see some good slide jobs before the end of the race. Mate, that's pretty awesome. I haven't told him yet, but if you actually go up the road a little bit and to the right, we've actually got a very good kart track up in Nelson as well. He has done pretty well in the cuts, 11 titles. Yeah, uh, we actually were in the outlaw coast for quite a while and very fortunate to uh, be able to get a lot of championships under our belt, so yeah. So, mate, school life, you're pretty much homeschooled. You're basically racing nine or ten months of the year, or is it 12 months of the year? Well, now uh, coming out here is 12 months of the year, um, so that's definitely pretty cool. And, yeah, just homeschooling. Mate, and uh, Daniel tells me that you're out here to prove a point. It's not just a bit of a holiday, although, mate, you, obviously the, the conditions out here, the countryside and all that, you think, you, hey, look, there's bungee jumping, and you're not too far away from Queenstown, which is our entertainment capital of the year if you're not doing... Uh, what we call car chases in South Auckland are pretty entertaining if you watch the news every now and then. But, mate, this, he's looked after you, and, mate, you've got some big big events coming up. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the title, and hopefully we get that one under our belt. And, yeah, they've taken great care of me. And, mate, you've got the uh, War of the Rings. We're going to send you over to Greymouth. It's a very unique place. It's a gold hunting. Have you ever watched Gold Rush? Uh, yeah. Parker? Yeah, I've watched that one a couple yep, times. Yeah, Thursday night, half past seven. He's just heading down the west coast of New Zealand, so you might be able to see some of those guys. One of those guys that does the gold is actually racing some modified, which is a still version of the, of the sprint car, slightly less horsepower, um, in white, and he's down here, and he, he's actually going to feature on uh, that gold rush uh, in the next uh, few months here in New oh, Zealand. Oh, sweet, yeah. So, so we're looking forward to that. Of course, Tiana, mate, she's a she's a wee way out of the Wop Wops, sort of down the countryside, but, mate, she's beautiful down here. They've got some great lakes and some great scenery down here, and obviously a very, very good restaurant down here too. Yeah, for sure. And Daniel, mate... <laughs> She's a big one. What, what have you got? You got all the wings for the young fella up here, and what, what else? Are, what else is happening over the Christmas and New Year period? Yes, I think we've got about seven more meetings before the title. So next one is next week down at Ruapuna for War of the Wings. So that'll be kicking off that series. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting amongst there. It's good to rub shoulders with a lot of the guys around here that were here tonight. So it's something to look forward to. And then obviously Christmas, New Year down at uh, Cromwell. Yep. Um, so 30th and the 1st. So we look forward to those two races.